Back in January, I had a chance to check out an excellent Surface Studio competitor. It was made by Lenovo and it was called the Yoga A940. And if you saw my video on it, you knew that I was very excited about getting it into the studio. Well, eventually I did. When Lenovo hit me up, do you want to check out the all new Yoga A940 all in one? I quickly jumped on it. And boy, I'm glad I did. This is definitely a Surface Studio competitor that not only comes in at a better price, but has a lot of features that it doesn't have. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Lenovo Yoga A940 All-in-One. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Now before we begin in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Lenovo sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Lenovo. I'm not being sponsored by Lenovo. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. And the review unit is on loan from Lenovo. Once this review is done, I will be sending it back to Lenovo. The Lenovo Yoga A940 All-in-One is powered by Intel's 8th generation processor. It's the Core i7-8700. That's a 6-core processor. It's also got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And as far as graphics are concerned, it has the AMD Radeon RX 560 with 4 gigabytes of video memory. And when it comes to storage, you're looking at a combination of a 1 terabyte 5400 RPM spinning hard disk drive and a 256 gigabyte PCIe SSD drive. And you're looking at a 27 inch 4K UHD display, resolution 3840 by 2160, IPS multi-touch display with Dolby Vision. But that's enough with the specs, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. In the box is your 230 watt power adapter. It's pretty robust and of course you get that content creation dial, very similar to the Surface dial. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Now they do give you a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. They're okay, not great, but I think you'd want to use your own preferred wireless keyboard and mouse. Now they do also give you that Bluetooth active pen. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Now when it comes to the ports, you won't be disappointed. Let's start off on the left side. You get a Thunderbolt 3 port, USB-A 3.1, full-size SD card slot, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and of course, your power button. Moving over to the back, you get four USB-A 3.0, HDMI, RJ45 Ethernet port, and of course, your power port where you're gonna plug in your power adapter. Now, another interesting feature is this button. If you press this, this will allow you to use this as a monitor because the HDMI port on this not only supports HDMI in, but it supports HDMI out, allowing you to use this as a secondary monitor with another device, something the Surface Studio can't do. Now you get two more USB ports, one on each side of the monitor, and they're used for whether or not you want to put that content creation dial on either the left or the right side. Me being left-handed, I decided, of course, to put it on the left side. The Lenovo Yoga A940 runs Windows 10 Home, but if you need Windows 10 Professional, check out today's sponsor for some great savings and also great savings on Microsoft Office. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 Professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 Professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off. Even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem. I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings. And remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. Okay, let's talk about the display. 27 inches, UHD, multi-touch display with pen support. It also has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. This is also a Dolby Vision display, making this an excellent choice to watch high dynamic range content. Watching Netflix and YouTube is a pleasure on this display. And with an average screen brightness of 288 nits, not the brightest, but definitely usable in indoor use, which is of course where you're going to be using this. It's also a very glossy display, so you will notice the reflections, you will notice the glare on it, as you can see on this video. It's, I'm sure it's coming through pretty clearly. But because it has a 25 degree angle, you can get that comfortable viewing angle. It's very adjustable, and that's always great. 
It also covers the color gamut extremely well, 100% sRGB, 100% Adobe RGB, making this a great choice for creative professionals. Digital artists will absolutely love this. But one thing I did notice is there's a gap between the display panel and the glass itself as you see here. It's due to the touch layer. It makes things a little less clear, a little less crisp than say you'd get with the Surface Studio. It's something to keep in mind. But it's not a deal breaker. This is an excellent 4K display. I just wanted to point that out. Now the display will fold down into a 25 degree angle, great for those content creators, great for those artists who want to use it with the pen. Now the pen uses the Wacom AES technology, it has 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity and it worked really well, very similar to a Surface Pen, but again this uses Wacom technology as opposed to the Entrick Pen technology you'd get with the Surface Pen. And I thought the palm rejection worked really well, this is a great choice for graphic designers, content creators and of course digital artists. And I like the fact they do give you a place to store the pen when not in use. Now I really like the content creation dial. It's app specific. You can really tune it to what you really like it to do. You could also use it to scroll in the web browser. You could also use it to change the volume. Really versatile in that manner. Very similar to the Surface dial. And you can use it on either side with either USB port depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed. And I also love the fact that it gives you really good tactile feedback. That's a nice touch as well. And for those interested, this does have an infrared camera, Windows Hello compatible, and it's 1080p. Okay, so this is the front-facing camera on the Lenovo A940, the all-in-one. That's actually really impressive, I have to say. Now, this is a 1080p, 30 frames per second uh, camera, and I think it's good for doing Skype. Video, video conferencing will definitely work on this. Not the best I've ever seen. Uh, kind of hoping for something a little bit better, but definitely will get the job done. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, I love the fact that there's also a privacy switch, which will allow you to turn off your webcam, giving you more security and privacy. I always love to see that, but keep in mind, it won't turn off the microphone. And it has another really interesting feature, a built-in wireless charger. It's a fast wireless charger using the Qi standard. So when you want to use this to charge your cell phone, you have that option. It's really convenient and it's come in a lot more handy than I thought it would be. So that's a really nice feature to include in this all-in-one. Now, when it comes to performance, the A940 all-in-one doesn't disappoint. In fact, look at these numbers, very good results when we talk about PC Mark, the Geekbench 4 tests, and the like. This is a great choice if you want to do productivity work using this for Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, content creation, Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. This is a content creator's dream. Now, as far as watching Netflix and YouTube, this is an excellent choice for consuming media. And as you can see from these results, you can game on this if you keep it at medium settings at 1080p. I found that to be the sweet spot as far as playable frame rates. Look at Fortnite, Rocket League, GTA 5, and Shadow of the Tomb Raiders, all with medium settings, 1080p, definitely playable. If you bump it up to 4K, things are not as great, so I would say stick with the medium settings at 1080p. Now you will notice the fans kick in under heavy load. Of course, it's not overly loud, not overly distracting, so on that front, that's a good thing. You get really excellent reads and writes, as you can see from these crystal disk mark results for the SSD. The Yoga A940 all-in-one has a 3D soundbar with Dolby Atmos. That sounds really fantastic. In fact, I was very impressed. It really fills up the room very well. The volume is good and it does have bass. Overall, great job by Lenovo. And I love the fact that they give you the LED lights to light up your workspace, which gives it a really nice look. Pretty sleek looking in my opinion. Nice touch. The button to turn on the LED lights is located on the right side. Now I think you'd want to look at this for the simple reason that this comes in so much less than the Surface Studio 2 and that to me is a big deal. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Lenovo Yoga A940 all-in-one? Is this a Surface Studio 2 competitor that we've been looking for? I think for the most part, the answer is yes. I like its sharp 4K UHD display. I love the 3D soundbar. Love the pen support. Love that adjustable hinge that gives you that 25 degree viewing angle. It really worked out well, especially for graphic artists. They're going to love that. I love its competitive price when compared to that Surface Studio 2. And I love the fact that you can use this as a monitor, something the Surface Studio 2 can't do. There are no real deal breakers here in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. I think the display could be a little bit brighter and I wasn't crazy about that gap between the display panel and the glass. I hope they improve that on the next iteration. But again, none of these are real deal breakers in my opinion. I'm going to give this a score of 92% making the Lenovo Yoga A940 all-in-one definitely worth your money.
So what do you think about the Lenovo Yoga A940? Definitely a Surface Studio competitor. In a lot of ways, I think it's better. In some ways, it's not. Let's start off with the display. You're looking at a really nice display, 4K touch display, much like you'd get with the Surface Studio. And of course, you get the pen support. Pen worked fine, worked very well in terms of pressure sensitivity, palm rejection, it all worked well. Great for the artist, sketch out some artwork or needs to do some CAD work. You can definitely do it on this. Now, AMD graphics definitely will help on this, but you're not gonna have an all-time powerhouse. But now the audience that this is geared towards, of course, are gonna be those graphic artists, those architects, those who want something that has pen support that they can do their artwork on, maybe take some notes, but also mostly to do CAD work and stuff like that. And for the graphic artist, this definitely can get the job done. Whether or not it's better than the Surface Studio, it depends on what you're looking for. But it's definitely a good value and it's definitely a much better proposition in that regard than the Surface Studio. You get more bang for your buck, in my opinion. I like the USB dial that it has, very similar to the Surface dial, and it worked really well. I also like the ability to put it on either side of the screen. I'm left-handed. I was able to use it on the left side of the display, which really came in handy for me. It's highly customizable, allowing you to do scrolling with it, how to control the volume. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.